Hi guys, welcome to Umian Tech. This is Anu Viji. Today we are going to discuss about something very important and useful for every one of us, which is smartphone batteries. There are a lot of myths floating around us about smartphone batteries and following them we usually end up doing something which is very harmful to the batteries. So today we are going to expose some of them. So before we get started, if you like uh, the content, uh, please subscribe, share and like the video. Ready 1, 2, 3, start. Ready 1, 2, 3, start. <laughs> start. Over just a few years, the batteries in our smartphone changed a lot. That means those all tips to increase our battery life are not just valid, yet we still share them like their gospels. Before telling someone to disable Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to save the battery life, let's look at the reality. Myth number one, you should completely discharge your battery before plugging it in. <laughs> <laughs> Myth number one, you should completely discharge your battery before plugging it in. Batteries used to be stupid. All the batteries would forget their full capacity, so they wouldn't be able to get fully charged again. So you would have to let the battery discharge all the way to zero percentage before charging it again. That's not the case now. Smartphones today have lithium-ion batteries which don't suffer from memory problems of old nickel-cadmium batteries. Similarly, lithium-ion batteries count charges differently than the all batteries, so you don't actually need to worry about discharging it completely. Most manufacturers still suggest to you calibrate your battery by discharging and recharging it once in every month. So since your battery's overall life diminishes over time, the time that you have left on each full charge decreases a little with every full discharge. So essentially, every discharge shortens the battery life just a little bit. So discharging to zero percentage once in every month helps the operating system to calibrate the full life cycle of the battery. However, batteries today in the market have a digital calibration tool built into them. So these smart batteries reduces the need to calibrate though it's still recommended when your battery behaves oddly. So if you see the battery's percentage on your phone depends around uh, a lot, like uh, you know, you could have shown it like it was fully charged and it's just 20% now. So it's the time to calibrate it. You don't need to do it quite often though. It's actually bad for lithium ion batteries to be regularly drained all the way to zero percentage. That counts as a full charge cycle which in turn reduces the battery's life. Myth number two, charging your battery overnight kills the long-term battery life. In the same way as calibrating your battery, it used to be possible to ruin your battery by overcharging or leaving it plugged in all the time. When you plug in your phone for a long period, older lithium-ion batteries could overheat or sometimes explode in some rare cases, which in turn reduces the charge capacity and long-term life of the battery. This can still happen if you have a case that doesn't allow the heat to dissipate. These days, chargers and smartphones are smart enough to prevent this from happening. That means overcharging is not ham at all. That said, leaving your phones plugged in all the time can still lead to some kind of degradation, but it's not enough that you will even notice. If you want to extend the life of your battery, you should keep it always between 40% to 80% all the time. That sounds great, but it's pretty tough for somebody who is living in this modern world. The good news is, leaving it plugged in overnight while you sleep, even if it's close to full, it doesn't negatively affect it as much as it used to. Myth number three, closing apps improves battery life. Mobile apps do not stay open the same way they do on a computer. When you leave an app, it's frozen. It doesn't do anything and doesn't require any resource. And closing them does nothing for your battery except it causes some CPU power and battery to close everything. By closing the app, you take the app out of the phone's RAM. While you think this may be what you want to do, it's not. When you open that same app again the next time when you need it, your device has to load it back to the memory all over again. All of that loading and loading and puts more stress on your device than just leaving it alone. 
plus your operating system closes the apps automatically when it needs more memory so you are doing something which your device is already doing for you some people swear by task killers to handle close apps and improve battery life the problem is that they don't really work and they do more harm than good it's all about how the app was coded by the way instead of closing apps all the time it's better to turn off the features that are really draining your battery life like notifications or data calls in the background from your phone settings all of these don't mean that apps are not at all harmful for batteries certain softwares like messaging apps absolutely destroy your battery's life so identify those apps from the battery settings and disable or uninstall them if you don't uh, use them quite often myth number four you should use only official chargers with your phone smartphone manufacturers want you to use the official charger that comes with your phone Look at any box or manual and they'll often say it's highly recommended that you don't use any other charger. However, while you shouldn't use cheap, sketchy, knockoff or counterfeit chargers, affordable off-brand chargers are fine. Modern USB chargers are standardized and while you will see different charge time results with the different chargers, that doesn't really affect the battery at all. Researchers show that while the time it takes to charge device varies from a charger to charger doing so with a third party charger has no effect on the battery that includes using a charger that supplies a different number of amps than the phone expects modern smartphone batteries are smart enough to use only the maximum amount of power it can handle regardless of what being supplied so there is no danger of overheating as long as the charger itself is providing the correct current the cheap chargers often pretend to supply more or less power than they should or vary widely during the charging session that's where the trouble comes in the off-brand chargers won't do this and they are quite safe so guys these are the top four myths that misguide people usually now you know the truth keeping all these aside what usually kills your battery the fastest is the screen so if you're really worried about battery life, just turn off the screen and put the phone in your pocket until you really need to use it. So that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll be back with some great contents again. Until then, goodbye.